Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So a few weeks ago, I reviewed the game Dead Trigger 2. Now one thing I mentioned was the fact that if you go into your settings and graphics performance, you only have the option between low and high detail, and that's it. Now if you're running an iPhone or a Tegra device, you also have the ultra high graphic detail settings. Now that's great for those devices, but what about for the rest of us? If you have a Snapdragon 600 or 800 device, you're more than capable of playing this at ultra high graphic detail, but yet you don't have the option. Well, there is a way to enable ultra high graphic detail. Now to do this, you will need to have a rooted Android device. So first, what we want to do is exit out the game, go into your settings, then go down to apps, and force stop it. Alright, now what we can do is go to the Google Play Store, and download an app called ES File Explorer. And the reason why I say this Explorer because it has a root browser into it. And I have tried this video like three times already using the root browser Explorer and I just couldn't get it to work. So this is the most effective way to do this. So open up ES File Explorer. After you open up ES File Explorer, click this icon right here and go to where it says root Explorer and make sure that's on. And it's gonna ask you for a super user permission. Then from there, go up to your device, go to where it says data, which is right over there. Then go to data again. Now you want to scroll down to com Madfinger Games Dead Trigger 2. And I kind of memorized where it was at, so I'm just going to skip down to there. Madfinger Games Dead Trigger 2. All right, once inside, you want to go to where it says share preferences and open up this XML file. You want to use ES Note Editor. After you open it up, go down to where it says Unity Graphic Detail. And first of all, go to edit and change that value to three. Next, go down to where it says option graphic detail and change that value to three as well. All right, so you change option graphic detail and unity graphic detail both to three. Hit back, it's gonna ask you to wanna save it and hit yes. Select the file, go down to more and go to Properties. Then Permissions, select Change, and remove all the right permissions, just so that the app doesn't overwrite what you already have. Hit OK, and Cancel. So this should check. All of our right permissions are removed. Now we can go back to Dead Trigger 2. All right, and we're inside the game. And so one thing, if you go into your graphics quality, it will not say ultra high, it will just say high and low again. So you don't see ultra high, however, you know you're running at ultra high because first of all, over here I see you have grass moving and if you remember when I started this game, there was no grass over here. So that's the first signal that we are on ultra high. And then again, on the bottom we have like that puddle reflection, which you don't get in high settings. Now one thing I can tell you, the fact that I, it's running a little bit... I don't want to say laggy, but a little more slow than on high settings. So once again, I know I'm definitely running into ultra high. Um, but with the extra detail with the grass and the ground, with the reflections, that tells us that we are running this at ultra high. Now, depending on your device, you might have terrible lag when doing this. And mind you, this is really not optimized properly or as much as what it could be, because I doubt it's taking advantage of all the cores available. So this has been how to run Dead Trigger 2 at ultra high graphic quality. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, try it out for yourself. And it's going to make a really big difference when it comes to just aesthetic detail. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for another guidance new video. Thanks.